I change my skincare routine quite a lot, but this time I'm going to share a routine with you which was recommended by Narita Joy. I came across Narita Joy's YouTube channel and have never found someone who explains things as well as she does. So if you are into skincare, then do yourself a favor and subscribe to her YouTube channel. I have linked it in the description box below just to make it easier for you. I got in touch with Narita and asked her what she would recommend for my skin. I sent her pictures and told her my skin concerns and about my lifestyle. And this is the routine she recommended. I really liked it. Um, I also asked her if I could share this routine with you and she said yes, so let's begin. So I have combination to oily skin and I told her my skin concerns are the flakiness around my nostrils, which she said it looks like it might be a little bit of eczema. Um, I get breakouts, especially on the lower half of my face. And she said that might be due to the excessive hair in the area because I have PCOS I get excessive hair growth bacteria gets stuck underneath and it causes spots so she recommended that I exfoliate but she said I'm sensitive so this routine is tailored for my skin type the routine that she sent me there the products from a brand called Rejuvi she does make it clear that I don't have to get this brand in particular that's not the important part it's the routine that i follow but i decided to go for the exact product she recommended and to go for rejuvi because i was running low with my current skincare products and rejuvi was easily accessible to me i just bought it online and they, it was within my budget as well so the first product she recommended is the k facial cleanser I've never used a cleanser like this before. I normally use cream cleansers. This is more of like a gel cleanser. It looks like aloe vera gel. I mean, it does have aloe vera gel inside. That's probably why. But it doesn't foam up. It doesn't leave that dry feeling after you cleanse, which I love. It's also very affordable. It's only £16.99. Um, £17 for a cleanser, in my opinion, is really affordable. I have spent a lot more on cleansers in the past, so I have been loving this. This is for normal combination skin, which is why she recommended this cleanser for me. Always double cleanse. The first cleanse removes makeup, dirt and grime. The second cleanse actually cleans your skin. And I normally use this face cloth, it's the Jane Iredell Magic Mitt, to remove the cleanser. So I put it under warm water, give it a squeeze, and then you just put your hand inside and then I wash the cleanser off so i do that twice i always cleanse twice she then recommended that i use the gaha serum i was really excited about this because i've never used a serum in my skincare routine i didn't know that i needed it but this isn't like an oil serum this is more of like a gel serum and it's an aha serum which is the alpha hydroxy acid so it's it's acids that help exfoliate your skin it's got glycolic acid lactic acid, titanic, I don't know, it's got all of these acids in there. This product absorbs very quickly into your skin. It's not an oil, it's a gel and it absorbs very well into your skin and I have been loving to use this. It also, on the website, it says that it's ideal for oily and acne skin, exfoliates dead skin cells, sebum and grime, whilst refining skin tissue. It says it helps uh, lines and wrinkles are reduced and age spots are diminished with, within just a few days of using this. This one is $27.99. After that serum has absorbed into my skin, Narita then recommended that I use this moisturiser which is the B Moisturising Lotion. This is a really nice light moisturiser. I use about two pumps to cover my face and my neck. On the website it says it's for normal and oily skin and this moisturiser is $34.99. It's within my budget so I got it and I really really like it. So that is the routine that she recommended I do in the morning. So really quick and simple. In the evening she recommended um, slightly different. So I always, she recommended that I cleanse with the same cleanser which is the K cleanser. I always like to remove my makeup with an oily cleanser. In the evening if I've got loads of makeup on I use the Environ pre-cleansing oil. That first cleanse is to remove my makeup and I like to remove it with this. And then I use damp cotton wool to remove the mascara because I don't want to stain my mitt too much. And then I use the mitt to remove the rest of it. For my second cleanse in the evening, I use the one that Narita recommended. 
after I've cleansed my face, uh, she recommended in the evening that I use the H Skin Healing Gel. This is 98% pure aloe vera gel. It's got chamomile extract, cucumber extract, all of that good stuff in here. I do have aloe vera at home, but I wanted to try this one out because this one does feel different. When you put aloe vera gel on your skin, just plain aloe vera, it does leave that tight gel sort of feeling. This one's more smooth, so I have been liking this. I get electrolysis done to remove the facial hair that I've got down here, and this really helps heal my skin. On the website it says it's good at relieving itchiness, sensitivity from sunburn, windburn, chapped or dry skin, or even skin insect bites. It's ideal to help dry, flaky, acne prone skin. It's really good. Um, and the price for this is $17.99. So I've been loving this to heal my skin. And then after I put that on, Narita recommended that I use the GAHA cream for sensitive skin. So they have one for normal and one for sensitive skin. She recommended this one for me. This is quite a thick cream. And when I first started using this, when I would wake up in the morning, I would wake up with white spots, like white heads. Um, only like a few around my nose especially, some here, some there. And I thought maybe it was too strong for me, even though it was for sensitive skin. So what I did is I started to use more healing gel and a smaller amount of the AHA cream. And then my skin, I think it started to get used to it because it doesn't happen anymore. Now I just use the normal amount for both and it's completely fine. So the GAHA cream for sensitive skin is $36.99. It's basically like the AHA serum, but this is the cream version. Um, it removes dead skin cells, refines the skin tissue, lines the wrinkles are reduced, age spots are diminished within just a few days of using it. Vitamin E and C are incorporated to minimize oxygen-free radicals protecting against premature aging. In case of discomfort, stop use for a few days and then use again. The final product that Nurida recommended I use is the exfoliating mask. I was excited about this one because I was using the Elemis papaya enzyme peel which has the same sort of concept. It's an exfoliator with no granules in it and although I still love the Elemis one, this one just has a different place in my heart. And because of my skin type, Nurida recommended that I use this once a week and to leave it on my skin for three minutes. It's got papaya extract, um, which absorbs the dead skin cells rather you having to manually scrub your skin. So you just apply it on your face and then the mask just does its thing and it absorbs the dead skin cells. You might feel texture in this one. It's got lemon peel powder, which is, I think that's what I'm feeling. I can feel a little bit of the powder. It's got chamomile powder, Oh, it's got kaolin, that's probably what I'm feeling. Ginseng root powder, sunflower oil, glycolic acid, salicylic acid. It's got all sorts of stuff in there. When you first put this on your skin, I personally feel it tingle quite a lot. But it only lasts around, I don't know, 10 seconds and then it slowly starts to die down. So the exfoliating mask, oh, it's so affordable. It's $16.99. This formula deeply cleanses the pores, removing dirt, oil and grime, while diminishing fine lines and wrinkles. See, on the website it says, leave on the skin for 5 to 15 minutes, then rinse off with plenty of water. Narita recommended 3 minutes because of my skin type in particular. That's why I just recommend that you go to her directly. So I apply this on for 3 minutes, just once a week I do it. Um, I do use a damp mitt to remove it, but I can still feel some powder on my skin, so I do rinse off the excess with water because I can feel a little bit of powder in my skin. Um, and that is my skincare routine. <sighs> makes me really happy. I highly recommend that you subscribe to Nurida Joy's YouTube channel. I have linked it in the description box below. If you are a beauty therapist or if you're a student to become a beauty therapist, you'll find it really helpful. Or if you're just simply really into skincare, then I'm sure you will enjoy watching her videos. She's got 40 years experience. She explains things very well, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me as well if you like. And that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.